Hey Church, I wanted to take a moment to encourage us today. I've been going through a Bible devotional each day and one of the things that stood out to me today was from Luke 21 verse 34 in the Passion Translation. And it says this, Be careful that you never allow your hearts to grow cold. Remain passionate and free from the anxiety and worries of the, our lives. Then you will not be caught off guard by what happens. This passage is about the return of Jesus and it's encouraging us to stay passionate for Jesus, to stay focused on Jesus and not be like lounging around and waiting when he returns. And it really stood out to me because in this season where we're in isolation, I know so many people and myself included have set goals for this season that we've said, you know, by the time we're out, I want to have achieved a new skill or I want to have a better relationship with God or I want to have better relationships with my friends or my family. Um, and I just feel like for me, what's happened over the last two weeks is that because we don't have an end date for this season, I felt like, well, I don't need to start doing that today. I can wait till tomorrow. I don't need to press into God today because I can do it tomorrow or I can do it next week because we'll still be in isolation then. And actually this verse is saying, stay passionate, don't grow cold, keep pressing in. One of our toughest things as a human, or I think anyway, you might disagree, is waiting. I really hate waiting. I had to stand in a queue the other day for 45 minutes just to get into Sainsbury's. And I really struggled because it was waiting. And yet when we project something so far out, what happens is that because we are waiting and we're projecting it so far out, we actually become vulnerable to apathy and becoming insensitive to what we are desiring and so I really want to encourage you this morning what is it that you said you wanted to do in this season and have you started doing it because we we don't know how long we've got we might have a week we might have a month we might have two months we don't know but why start to, why not start today rather than waiting till tomorrow I hope you feel encouraged this morning, church, to really press in on those goals that you've set yourself. Or if you haven't set yourself goals, maybe have a think, what do you want to achieve in the next month or two? Maybe it is just getting up out of bed each day. Uh, maybe you've got bigger goals than that. I don't know what's going on for you at the moment. But let's make sure we are doing it today rather than waiting for tomorrow. Thanks, church.